Hey guys, today is something a little bit different. Uh, this is a new system for me and one that I'm still kind of working out the kinks. So once you've watched today's video, do please comment down below with things that you think would make this work better for me. But what we have here is my household wall calendar. Um, I have not put up a wall calendar in a long time. Um, and I just got this last month. You'll see this is what I have for October. Um, basically, it's just anything that we need to do um, together as a family, things that my husband needs to be aware of. And um, previous to this month, for the longest time, we were just relying on my own planner. And he just knows to, you know, he's not really um, a planner person. And so he just knows to ask me if we have any weekend plans. Um, but the idea of this is to be able to write those weekend plans on a calendar that he has access to and also for him to have access to add things um, to either a to-do list. <laughs> She's out in the other room. Um, he's watching her. So the idea here, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's not not working. We'll say that. Um, we've, I've been trying to make a point of filling it out whenever there's new things, but I'm not sure how much he's looking at it. And obviously there's nothing I can do to make him look at it. Um, so I just want to try to make it the most useful it can be. So this is for the new month. There's a couple things that we have, um, written here already. Let's see. This actually is irrelevant now. Um, I need to write the time for this. So this is just a couple of things that we added as we were looking ahead to like this weekend, uh, last week. But I want to fill it out first of all with all of the events, um, this week. So what does it say? Forget what time my mom group is. But I'm gonna put that here. So he'll know that it's just gonna be him with the baby that night. And then let's see 20. That can't be right. I don't know why I wrote 26th for something that's on the 21st, but this is the Thanksgiving fundraiser we go to. <laughs> I don't know how much you can hear of my husband playing with the baby out in the other room. All right, and I don't think there's probably anything necessary on my to-do list. No. Um, and so then here's Thanksgiving. So my thought actually, I have all of these Happy Planner stickers that are really too big for my pocket planner. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can find, where are they? First start off with the, here we go. Uh, thanks, oh, Thanksgiving sticker's really small. All right, this one would actually fit, this one would actually fit in my planner. <laughs> it's tiny, tiny. All right, uh, let's go ahead and, because I don't want to just cover up, it's, it's a clear sticker. So I'm just going to do a little bit of decoration because I think that's going to make it stand out a little bit more on our wall, make it look a little bit better, a um, little bit more inviting to come take a look at. So let me put a little orange stripe here. And my colors for my personal planner, as you will have seen last week in my plan with me, are green and purple um, because I like them and it's my birthday this month. And so I just decided to pick colors that I like that have nothing to do with the season, but for the household calendar, especially if <laughs> I just was going to say, if I uh, decorate the house, I am the worst at decorating. Um, I'm just really, I don't know what I'm doing. My mother-in-law has like experience interior decorating. So I kind of let her give me ideas and advice, but then also like, you know, she has her own house to decorate. And the thing is, I don't like the idea of decorative clutter sitting in a box somewhere for the rest of the year. Like storage space is precious enough without having to have a lot of stuff that can't be used all the time. But I know we do have like one um, Thanksgiving pillow that's in the closet that needs to come out. That was a gift from her. So I'm thinking maybe 
I want to like highlight things, some things. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this mom group thing. This is a, that's just me. And then I guess we'll highlight the things that we're going to together. This was obviously past, but we did go to it. All right. So this, obviously that's, we have Friday off, so that's why I highlighted both days. Um, I don't know if there's anything really I wanna use from these bills. It's not really so much, it is. It is also for to-do things um, because I should use those date night ones. I have to-do stickers, I can use these, okay. So I'm going to pull out, first of all, some washi tape, maybe, because why not, right? I like washi tape. And since this is in the past anyway, and it does not matter, oh, I'm just going to cover up all of these October days. in the past before we even get here. It's gonna cover them up, make it pretty. That's basically the space I have for decorating is over there. So previous to getting this calendar, I had a honeydew list in my planner. Um, and you know, that's not super useful because he is not in there. He's not looking at that list, and so it was just a list of things that I needed to ask him to do. Um, in theory, I could like take the list out, hand it to him, and then start working on a new one. I am not sure if I like this. <laughs> um, but then the idea here is to write my list over here of things that I'd like to ask him to help me with. Um, and, oh. I don't like this tape. <laughs> this tape sucks. I got it from a, what's it? AliExpress, I think. And it's just not very sticky. And it's, yeah, it's not great. Let's use this instead. So the idea is the honeydew list is over here. Um, and I, again, don't think he's actually really looking at it very much because, you know, it's just not something that's on his mind. And it's in our kitchen, you know. It's on the piece of wall space we had, which is like behind him at the dinner table. But I didn't want to make it like super obvious as you walk in either because it's like, what if you have guests? Um. So yeah, I guess this is this is why I'm asking you guys for advice. Do you have a wall calendar at home? Do you have like a command center or, or what's what's your situation? And how do you make it work for you? Because I feel like I need some tips and tricks to get this to work for me. Yeah, I feel like this washi tape is a little overkill, but we'll see. I do really like this one with the foxes. So there are a couple things that were on the list that he did do because I specifically asked him to. A couple other things that I mentioned but didn't get done. Because, um, I mean, it's not like he's not busy and not doing other things for the house. Um, it's just, yeah, yeah, basically I'm just asking you all, if you have a honey-do list, how do you, or a, a wall calendar or whatever, how do you get a non-planner member of your family, someone who's not thinking that way all the time, um, 
I mean, he's, I guess, gotten into the habit of just having me tell him what we're doing. And, you know, that worked for us. But I want to know if there are any better ways to get him sort of a little bit more on board. This is just a decoration. I'm just replacing the word to do with the word to do. Um, and I think I'll just highlight notes. So the idea last month was that we had a purple things were both of us, red things were me, and blue things were him. And so this was his list, and this was supposed to be our list together, so that it wasn't all just like a him telling me, or a, me telling him what to do. It was like a, you know, here's things that we're doing together. And I thought about having a space for him to write to-dos for me and realized he wouldn't use it, so. This will just be for no notes. I never use notes sections, so it's there. Um, and then the things still need to come over here is child, lock, bathroom. There are some drawers that she's just getting into. At some point I had them organized and then she started pulling things out and putting them back in other drawers and it's a bit of a mess. So uh, we need to lock up some of, especially the things that are like creams and medicines and things. Um, I think that's it. Like things will come up. I know um, I have some plans with my mom and my sister, either here or here, but I don't know yet. Um, and you know, things like that. Um, do I have to write my birthday? I guess I'll write my birthday. He's not gonna forget my birthday. Um, and we don't really have any plans for it because I'm turning 31, which is not exciting, and it's on a Tuesday. So there we go. Um, and then do I write library? I guess I write library. And then I don't remember which night. He has a Knights of Columbus meeting on a one Tuesday per month, and I forget. I think it's the second Tuesday, but I'm not going to write it down in pen. Okay, well, that's that's basically it. It's not undecorative, and this will just be in our kitchen. Um, and my idea, my you know, ideally, I'd like to be looking at this myself once a week, like when I set up my week. Um, just, you know, adding things to it and crossing things off and maybe even having a conversation with the husband about what's going on for that week um, so that he's a little bit more involved in it. Anyway, this is what it is. And please do leave your ideas and suggestions down below because I would love to, yeah, see if anyone has any good tried and true methods to, to make this work a little bit better for us. So, just wanted to show you that today, and I appreciate you. If you uh, have not already seen, there is a giveaway happening on my channel. Um, so it should, it will, it is still open today because it's open until Sunday, regardless, it it's open till at least Sunday. So if you're not already subscribed, go ahead, check out the other video, subscribe and comment and enter the giveaway. We're giving away a $25 Etsy card for hitting 1000 subscribers. So I will be seeing you in the next one. Uh, and yeah, have a good week. <laughs> Bye.